hi everyone it is your girl t welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please don't be shy to smash the subscribe button down below <clears throat> oh my god i'm running out of breath so when i say a mouthful i'm really really running out of breath like this disease is just oh my god it's messing up with me i really need to start exercising hey by the way guys don't forget to hit the notification bell as well to all the new viewers if you are new to this channel if you came across this channel for the very first time today please subscribe and join the big happy family um i'm here with my tea and my lemon i've been drinking this for the longest time um it's really helping me guys and updates to those who have been asking if i'm doing okay i might i might <laughs> i'm okay so today i was actually trying to film um i was trying to shoot a different kind of video and then it just came to me that um i should do something different today so today i want to talk about self-love it's um something i do believe that i can just talk talk about uh just in passing um, this is not um like a therapist kind of like advice i'm no therapist i'm just okay i am a therapist but not that kind of therapist <laughs> So I'm not that kind of therapist. I'm not a therapist. I'm not educated on that um department of my life. But with experience, I do believe that people turn to learn and grow with situations. So I would just like to shed some light on self-love. You know, just basic stuff here and there. Um, with my experience as well, relating to the experiences that I've I've gone through so guys please watch until the very end so first things first what i would like to outline is that self-love is not being selfish and um self-love is is very important because if if you don't love yourself then who do you expect to love you if you don't love yourself hold on to that thought i want you to think of a situation where let's say you have a best friend or you have a, a sibling a sister would you allow someone let me rephrase this i'm here for the ladies today let me just say this i'm sorry gents if there are any gents who are watching this video you are also as much important as the ladies are but i'm just here for the ladies today i am for the women i am a woman after all and those who know they know that i am a feminist i don't hate men um but i speak for women i am a voice for the women i am for the women i am a woman after all so i am for my own team you understand so for women I can't speak for men anyway because I've never been a man. You get, I am a woman and I know that the struggles I've been through and I know that there are some women out there who can relate with the struggles that I have gone through. So for women, I want to ask a question. Say you have a younger sister or you have a best friend and this younger sister of yours is being mistreated by a guy. This guy abuses her mentally emotionally physically let's say let's leave it there or oh, this guy second scenario is cheating on your best friend this guy is cheating on your sister your younger sister let's say would you allow this guy to do this to your best friend would you allow this guy to do this to your sibling Take a minute and think about it. A guy is mistreating your best friend. What's the advice that you usually give your friend in such a situation? You get me? Obviously, you're going to try and tell her that this guy is not good for you, right? You're going to tell her that you need to move away from this guy, right? So, if it is you that is in that similar situation, why do you choose to tolerate such behavior? why do you choose to stay 
for such behavior if you wouldn't let someone close to you someone you love tolerate such things why do you tolerate it Am I making sense or oh, the corona has messed up with my mind? <laughs> you get me? The point I'm trying to drive home or the point I'm trying to make is that don't allow. Oh my God. So now I really, really completely lost the point I was trying to get to because I just stepped out for a minute and i went to fetch my supper so i think i was trying to take home the point that um don't allow something you you wouldn't allow your closed one to go through that is love right you love your closed one you love your best friend you love your sister hence you don't allow her to go through things she shouldn't be going through right so why are you allowing yourself to go through such things this is where self-love comes in you need to love yourself enough to tell yourself that i am not allowing myself to go through this you understand there are so many things that i get so mad about when i think about them so many things i allowed to happen to me simply because i let self-love excuse me All right now how can you attract love when you don't have love yourself how are you expecting the next person to love you when you don't love yourself? You know, as a person, you gotta have standards, let me tell you. I never used to have standards. I didn't. You need to have standards as a person. Tell yourself, I won't allow myself to go through this. Tell yourself, nah, -uh, this doesn't happen to me. Let's take, for instance, in a relationship. And you value communication so much it has to be there on your list you gotta have that list girls ladies you gotta have that list that i value communication and if you are not going to be communicating then i gotta let you go i gotta let you go i will love you Mara. i will love you from a distance you are not going to be here to disturb my peace my peace you understand you are not going to be here to disrupt the peace that i have you need to love yourself that much to tell yourself i'm not going to allow anyone to do, disrupt the peace that i have i value communication and if you are not going to be communicating then you are not good enough to be in my life you get that there's no compromise in that there's no compromise I want someone who's communicating with me so you gotta communicate i'm not gonna say all right um he's not communicating let me just make excuses it does not work that way i value communication you don't so now i gotta compromise because you don't communicate with me at whose expense my expense to make you happy but am i happy self-love you come first all my life i've put people first and i second i didn't love myself enough mastering the art of self-love i was in a relationship not so long ago um i did everything to make him happy everything i did was to make him happy yes i do have a big heart i have a great heart i'm one of those people with a great heart and they just can't help it i would make i would do everything to make him happy besides myself yes i was doing a good deed 
but it didn't leave me feeling good that I've done something great for someone. It left me feeling bitter. Yes, I've done something good for someone, but I am feeling bitter. I'm not feeling that, you know, fulfillment that I've done something great. I'm feeling bitter. That's not self-love. I put him first and I was second. Never make that mistake of putting someone first. You come first. You come first, they come second. What you want comes first. Your happiness comes first before anyone else's happiness. You know, in my life, I was, I've always put people first. I've put anyone in a relationship, I put him first. I put friends first, I put family first, and then I am at the back of the line. And I told myself that it is enough. I have to love myself. I have to have standards. I have to mind who I allow to get into my life. I have to know that my peace is important. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's me. I'm, I'm, it's me who's not happy. It is me who is not fulfilled. It is me. You get me? So this was just a brief message. Nothing much. No biggie. I was just thinking what kind of video can I do? And I thought let me just do a brief video on self-love. Love yourself ladies. You are beautiful. You are smart. You deserve. You deserve to be treated like a queen. You deserve to be treated like a queen. Because you are one. Fix your crown. Know your worth. Have standards. And don't let anyone to just walk in and out of your life. Have standards. Set standards. You know, put standards out there. Don't just let anyone have access to you. Not anyone deserves to have access to you. Some people don't deserve to have access to you. You are a queen. You are a queen. You are a queen. I hope I'm speaking to someone and I hate to hear. You know, having a little, a little pride doesn't hurt, you know, to tell yourself that this I don't allow, you get, you dig. I never did that with myself, I'm only starting now and I feel like it's a little too late, but then you know what, it's, it's never too late. I'm starting to implement this in my life and practice it in my life that I matter, I come first, and if you... If you are not going to be acting according to my standards, then you don't deserve to be in my life. If you're going to cost me peace, you don't deserve to be in my life. You don't deserve to have access to me. Not everyone deserves that. You get it? So ladies, I hope this was a very helpful message. I know someone out there wanted to hear this and they've heard. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you have bumped across my channel and you needed to hear this message, then praise God. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I love you so much. See you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to smash the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up guys. I was too emotional. I was getting too emotional in this video. So I decided, you know what, let me just stop this video guys. But I hope this message message reached to someone and i hope this message is going to help someone out there guys i love you so much guys all of you including the guys i also love you gents but then this message was specifically for women so thank you very much for watching guys i will see you in the next video bye